In this video I'm going to shortly explain why Claude AI is the best even on free plan when it comes to coding. Let's get straight into it. I've personally used Claude to build an app fully just with me and AI that then was sold for $3,000 just from this knowledge that I will share you today. You can also use it in Visual Code Studio. Basically Claude is good when it comes to coding literally anything Android, iOS, it doesn't matter. So what you do is you sign up to Claude and you just type help me create an app for iOS that will replace my calculator. Boom. You just paste the prompt and now you let Claude do the magic. It will say what it will do and I just created a simple prompt of course to teach to in my previous videos how to do better prompts and everything but boom Claude is already coding coding so here on this right panel we see how the code is looking it's coding pretty fast and as you can see if you were a human first of all you would have to learn all of these commands everything by memory and then you would have to type and that also takes some time because this is going to be like 100 200 boom okay so within j literally one minute we have an, an app the app is not yet functional because we don't have it here right by the way this is xcode i have done many videos on xcode so go check them out what we can do first is we can actually look at the look at the calculator okay so we have ios sensitivity didn't get what i meant it genuinely created some other app not a calculator so let me just rephrase it and say So I've sent another prompt to create me a calculator app that will calculate numbers. Maybe it didn't get it um, like what I meant. And I said, help me get it into Xcode. So now Claude understands that we want to get it into Xcode. So after it creates the code, then it will actually tell us how to get it there. Claude really works on screenshots. So you're free. I mean, it, it understands screenshots really good. I have tried it and I have debugged thousands and thousands of errors with Claude, but I was on the paid version. For this video, I have a free version, so you can literally see what you can do for zero dollars. Because of course, Xcode is also for free. So now we have a proper calculator. So if we do seven times five, it's gonna be 35, boom. Okay, it works, right? But this is just a showcase, it's not a real app. It's giving us uh, options what we could do, and I'll just say I did this. So as you can see, I'll just screenshot. Paste it here. Literally, I'm playing dump. I'm playing dump. I'm asking really stupid questions and it will help us. So we'll replace the entire content view Swift file with this code. Okay, so it's giving us the code. And just quickly to understand, content view is basically the graphics, okay? So this is where this is where when you change something, it actually changes the user view. So for example, we have this text, hello world, we can change it here, high world, if we want. And if we have this globe, we can add a square and it will be a square and all of these things. Okay, so I think you get it. I have done a deep dive into my previous videos. You can check them in this playlist and even more in depth tutorials, not just about Xcode or coding, but about AI as a whole and how to monetize it are in my school community. So check the link below and join. I will see you there. So now we have the code. So we can just go up here, click copy, go down and check what we what we need to do. So step, click on the content view dot Swift file in the left sidebar, select all the code, of course, command A, delete it, paste in the entire code, press command B to build of course, and click play button to play. Okay, boom. So problem was probably that the uh, whole code code wasn't loaded yet and we have some error, okay? So what we can do, I will just quickly go here, error, we forgot to add a team, so we will just add account. Okay, so we have added an account. So this is my team basically, you just sign into Apple and now it should actually work if we don't find other errors, which of course can happen. Now we will do it again. So command B, it's building, build failed, boom, we have another error. So we will go check here. All right, so we have found some errors here, which I have never actually came across. This will be a live debugging session. So I have just screenshot it. I'll paste it into Claude. So quick fix, change the bundle identifier. So in the bundle identifier field, change this, go back to the file. Let me go back to content view. Let me go build and let's see if it is going to work. Again, we have another error, which is common. It happens many times. So let me fix it again. 
just say help and Claude will do do the rest because genuinely you don't have to know anything about coding literally you can see I don't know anything about this error so let me just paste it here and Claude will understand it so this code signs error let's fill okay so here it basically gave us the process so I will go again okay so we have basically disabled this automatic signing sorry so now it says to sign to run locally but I can't so again go back and forth with Claude talk with it it will basically walk you through the process. So click on the provisions profile drop down where it says none. Select Xcode managed profile from the drop down for team. All right, guys. So I had some trouble. So let me just explain what happened. Basically succeeded with the building. And now we have the app, right? So if we do this, boom, we have an app that actually functions. So what was the problem in the signing and cap capabilities? I think this is something new about Xcode because I haven't encountered this at all, never. I don't know what the signing process is right now, but you basically need to sign into your Apple ID and then log into your Mac or PC and it will work then. Everything will work. You have your profile or whatever and everything is working. But if you're building this, check this signing and capabilities. If you click on this, go here and just there, there will be none. And you will need to, you see when I have none, it says development team, but personal team is also, also good. So boom. Anyways, we have the code right now. Everything is working. If we look here, we have it. So now the only thing left to do is command R which will be running. So build succeeded. And now we will have the simulator shortly. So this was literally the simplest way to use Claude AI to build an app inside Xcode. This was the process. I know Xcode can be a little bit challenging. So that's why I have my school community where there are developers, people who build AI agents, check that out. And in the next video, we're going to learn how to actually use Claude when it comes to basically build and run websites and apps inside Visual Code Studio. So see you in the next one, guys, and bye-bye.